First year with the Jackets, sixth year at the collegiate level. He's got 73 wins, and his team is 2-2 two and two after a loss last Wednesday night at Cincinnati. Jimmy Bell's a guy to keep an eye on. He's been terrific in the early going for the Bulldogs. Without Tolu Smith until at least mid-January. Here's George, a lob in the dunk on the back end by Ndongo. He's already helped him here. Well, Georgia Tech, one of the things they need to do is... Well, Top anybody, 100 player in the ESPN ranking a year ago. Anybody that scores almost 4,400 points in high school, you know they can put it in the basket, and that guy can put it in the basket. Miles Kelly from the perimeter, his sixth three of the year. Lead, and well, might as well start with Miles Kelly because... From Olive Branch, but went to school at Memphis before coming to Starkville. And a nice move through traffic for D.J. Jeffries. He's got five in a row and retired at seven, Dan. Hey, Jeffries, averaging just five a game. Well, he's got five already and retired at seven in Atlanta. West, other than play really solidly on the defensive end. Of course, they haven't turned the ball on. Yep, there's a pull-up jumper in the lane. There's Josh Hubbard going to work. He is only five feet ten. Work the ball to get it across half court. You got to work it to score. And this is the Jans calling card, the tight man-to-man -man here in the half court. And Dongo almost dumped another one off of George Lyle. Bulldogs owe a transition chance. And look at Hubbard. Five look at the same and score. Six wow. for Hubbard. What a terrific move. You see Ebenezer Dewana with by and Dongo on the floor here for Georgia Tech. And Murphy a three. Oh boy, Carter Murphy, but he's on the board tonight in the first half. Back to a six-point lead for the Jackets on a six-nothing run, and Moore will break that with his first points. A pretty good job with their shot selection. There goes Coleman, skip out front. Kelly left open, three away. That's just a great job penetrating in. 14 points in the first half. More than he had in either of the last two games. He is off to a hot start. Got to get rid of it, and scooped up Dewana, right hand. Fourth field goal of the year for Ebenezer Dewana. Here's Hubbard down the lane with the right hand. What a tough shot. Eight for Josh Hubbard on his third field goal. He can handle Shaquille Moore inside. There's Reeves on cue. Kowasi Reeves, the Florida transfer, with his first points. Kelly against Murphy. Kelly trying to find a screen. He'll long three will be good. How about 14 for Miles Kelly in the first half, and that's his third three. Up. And Murphy never does get his hands up, and that's a guard really loves to see that. A big guy with his 11 seconds to go, and Moore operates the offense. Into traffic, threw it away. Here's Sturdivant with three, two. He'll take it on Hubbard, put it up, score. Kyle Sturdivant and Georgia Tech score at the horn. Tend to shoot for the Jackets. Kelly had it poked away and a hustle play there. Davis, but couldn't save it. Wait, that's the way it's gone for Mississippi State tonight. Sturdivant, a little floater. Reeves, and here is the freshman George in his first collegiate start tonight. Lost the handle on, slapped it away, and loose ball out of there with the turnover. Here's Jeffries. He'll cross over and score. Here's Kelly, and that got knocked out with one on the shot clock, so go get your one-second inbound play here. <laughs> Kowasi Reeves going to go right over there in front of my buddy Bill McGee to put it in play. Lobs it to the basket and stolen out of the air by Bell, who had it, lost it, and then recovered Sacco for the dunk. If that's not the night, here is DJ Jeffries. And one at the Bulldog end. Terrific drive by Jeffries gives him nine. Eight on Georgia Tech. And here comes Ndongo and Debo Coleman back in the ball game. Well, George is trying to play defense and do ten double figure games a year ago in ACC play, and he's averaging eight and a half coming into the night through four. Davis and one foul by Sterling. Uh, defensively, if the guy is driving by you like this, you just get out of the way. And Sturdivant was trying to get out of the way. Ten-point lead for Georgia Tech, 9-3 to play. And Fort will get the dunk for his second field goal. Here's upset number one in the ACC-SEC challenge that? presented by Continental Tire. Georgia Tech hands Mississippi State their first loss of the year.